my boy picked it up for like I don't know, 40% off, 30% off pristine box and papers. And I'm like, I put my ticket in line and I said, whenever you get tired of that, because I know you will, <laughs> let me know. Hit me up yeah. because I wanna I want that watch, you know? So yeah. But and anyway, on my wrist. Yeah, yeah. What's uh, uh where is it at? Uh Samariner one six six one oh on a Horus um uh, FKM strap. I don't even know if it's FKM, but it's it's really comfortable. I went with the pre ceramic and there is a reason for it. Slimmer, slimmer lugs, drill holes, right? This is a nineteen ninety nine edition. It just feels like a tool watch. It doesn't feel mm -hmm. like jewelry to me, to be honest with you. I have my Tudor Black Bay fifty eight, that feels a little bit more jewelry. When I throw this on, especially when you put it on a on a rubber strap, it just disappears. You know what I mean? I thought but, you were uh, gonna have the 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 new one. I thought you were gonna have the the new. Oh, the baby. Speedy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I wore it, but I was wearing this over the weekend, and okay. uh, you know, and then I was gonna wear this my SPB one four three on an Erica's original strap. Some of the most comfortable straps. Mm -hmm. I know David's gonna poo poo on it because <laughs> <laughs> how can you, know, how can yeah. you do that? Yeah. To be fair, it's an eighty dollars strap. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's that's more than my leather strap. So yeah, yeah. yeah. no. Um, so let me talk a little bit about Horus because I didn't buy this. Okay, and I don't think I would ever buy this. And I'll tell you why. This strap alone costs almost three hundred dollars. To me, that's a little too much for a rubber strap. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You guys agree? However, the quality is great. Like if it's like a glove, it was given to me for some videos or whatever. I would say. If you have the money to spend uh, to buy a strap, maybe do it. You know what I mean? Because I've had some experience with other manufacturers. I don't want to throw them under the bus, but it just didn't fit well. And it was just scratching the case and it just felt like it was going to fall apart. And uh, my friend, actually, Omar, he's like, hey, Miguel, if you're willing to spend thousands of dollars on a real nice watch, why would you cheapen out on the strap? Right. Mm -hmm. So he bought the rubber B or whatever. And I just went yeah. with this because I got it for free. But out of my money, I'm too cheap. I don't think I would buy it. But it's a great strap. Like the quality just feels really that good. That was going to be my <laughs> question is, do you have you compared it to the Rubber B? Because I know me and Brett both have a Rubber B for our Black Bay 58s. Yeah. And that's about $200. I think we paid for that one, which was at my max of what I wanted to pay for a rubber strap. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never experienced a Rubber B. I've experienced an Everest, which is owned by Monta. Mm -hmm. the, these are in part with that. Um, okay. However, I, I do know based on my research, Everest and Rubber B are manufactured in Switzerland and these guys are manufactured in Thailand. Does that matter? I don't know. I mean, the quality is pretty good. What I do know, based on my research again, is that these straps, they probably get them for seven, eight bucks, 10 bucks at the most yeah. to get them manufactured. Yeah. Plus, you know, the packaging, say, say out the door landed, you're talking maybe 20 bucks, maybe mm -hmm. 17 bucks, and they're selling for 200 and something bucks. That is yeah. a crazy markup, but good for them. Uh, last I checked, yeah. horror straps was valued. Like, I think it's like a team of three at like 3 million in sales, maybe 4 million. I don't know. Good for them all in straps. That's amazing. That's crazy that they're that much coming out of Thailand where, you know, you can buy a Swiss strap from Everest or Rubber B, you know, for. I mean, I'm making an assumption. I don't know. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But but even the packaging is great. It came with a little microfiber towel, and I was like, "Damn, okay." Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're giving you the feels, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I think if I had to, if I could redo it with the Black Bay Fifty Eight, I don't know that I would have done the rubber B. I think the quality is great on those, but the um, but the the T, I'm trying to think like that actual term for it, the the kind of T clasp on it. Um, there's a a twang clasp. I think that's the actual name for it which everyone's seen that it's actually what's on this one. It's just kind of the, you know, regular little crossbar with a little, you know, push pin that goes into a, into a right. hole. Right. It's not deploying the pin and buckle. You mean like the pin yeah, and buckle yeah, yeah. like this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, not a deployable buckle. class. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not yeah. deployant and it's, um, and there's no, there's no like actual class. How like on the ever right. straps with the, with the, at least the newer ceramic subs, for example, you can take the factor, like the OEM rubber, right. The OEM Rolex clasp off and then onto the strap. Yeah. So but why would you though? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what if you want to throw it on the bracelet real quick? You're like screwed. You're like, ah, oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna be back and forth, I've I, I've tinkered very little with straps. I I I, I don't like doing it. Um, really, like I inevitably feel like I'm oh just messing all kinds of stuff me, up with it. I, uh, I, let me show you guys a little something. I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy. So I showed you that strap. I have another strap sitting here. This was. I'm gonna give them a shout out, but you can't even get them anymore. So this is from King Leather Strap. Okay. 
This was custom made for me. He was in California. He moved to Texas and he stopped making straps. He used to sell them for 110 bucks, 120, 100 percent custom for you. You could still probably find him. King Leather Craft. He is an amazing guy, King Andrew. Uh, yeah. So let me show you uh, kind of the little problem that I have. This is just one of many, but it's a little, it's a little filled up. Oh here. yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So all leather straps, and then I got this thing filled up. Uh, everything. Let me show you. I mean, for people that can't yeah. see, since pe since a lot of people are listening in their cars or something, we are looking yeah. at if you've ever seen one of those old like dvd cases that just has pages oh, yeah. and pages that your parents used to keep in their car full of dvds <laughs> yep. oh yeah we're looking at one of those but they're there's watch straps, straps. <laughs> all artham straps and i got more wow. coming all wow. artham oh, straps it's it's yeah. insane guys like honestly i don't even i i get them because you wear any bracelets <laughs> kind of i mean i have two sitting right here i have the omega yeah. And I have yeah. the Rolex. They're just sitting here. So yeah, but, yeah, the, I, yeah, but you've already taken those off for straps. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I just switch straps all the time. It depends on my mood and how I feel. And so, honestly, I've been fortunate enough to get them for free. So, well, I put in the work, obviously. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are you so, so like when you because this is actually like one of the only two questions that that I had kind of <laughs> jotted down ahead of the show. Okay. Um, and and one of or and this question is coming from this strap sort of journey that i found myself on looking for a pair looking for something to pair with that bamboo um like how often do you do you actually swap straps because i've noticed you're speedy i think oh, just from man. instagram i think i've already seen uh two of those um a lot two of straps uh i actually got like four or five okay. um fluco by the way fluco is a german company not very expensive they're like 40 something bucks you get them through whole whole beans uh strap i forgot the name of their of their brand of their website but amazing straps german straps they're made over there and um in some kind of forest but man honestly and, and this is going to sound funny but i actually do keep them on the on the bracelet most of the time and the reason why i don't have them on the bracelet is because i was taking pictures and i was too lazy to change them back but i want to say about 80 percent of the time they're on bracelets i just it's the way they were meant to be right, the, the, right. They, they designed them but i get bored very easily and since i need to constantly be posting pictures on instagram i'm like i need to change the look of it you know what i yeah, mean i need to yeah. create content so yeah the back of a lot of my watches the little lugs are pretty scratched up just because i'm constantly changing damn straps so yeah, yeah. 